Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at surface roughness, what that means and why it's important and what that surface machine looks like. Before we jump in, I just want to make sure you're in the right place and don't waste your time. So if you need to ensure that surface meets a specific roughness requirement or you need to monitor changes through time on surface roughness, then the roughest machine is what you need. So if that's the case, continue watching. You are in the right place. So this is what a typical surface roughness machine looks like. Uh, you can see the it's a cylindrical rod, which has got some surface finish on there. It looks like a fine knurl finish. And this machine has actually been drawn across, which we'll go into in, in detail in a minute. But it'll basically, with that drawing of the stylus across the surface, it will be able to detect every single uh, notch or surface defect, giving you some results. So let's have a quick look at the overview of the surface roughness tester. So a surface roughness testing machine is also known as a surface roughness tester or surface finish gauge. It's a tool to determine the roughness of a machined or ground or a polished surface. It is made up of a probe or a stylus which is mounted on a precision carriage that moves over the surface of the part being tested. Now this moves at a very specific rate and it's a constant speed. As the probe moves, it measures the variations in the surface profile and the machine calculates and displays roughness parameters such as the average roughness, which is the RA, the root mean square roughness, which is the RQ, and the peak to valley roughness, which is the top to the bottom, which is the PVR or RT, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So here's a quick drawing or, or a quick uh, overview of uh, the basic setup. So you can see the stylus on the end of the, the probe itself, and that has been drawn across the surface. Now, if we zoom into that down the bottom here, we've got the total displacement, which is the top and the bottom of the peak and the valley, uh, which we saw earlier. So when do we need to measure surface roughness? Now, surface roughness machines are commonly used to measure the roughness of machine parts such as gears, bearings, and engine components in manufacturing, engineering, and quality control. They are used to ensure that the machining process is accurate and consistent, which is a key thing here, and that the finished parts meet specifications laid down for the roughness requirement. Now, there are roughness standards so the standard used in the USA for measuring surface roughness is the ASTMD-4158, to be precise. This sets out the guidelines for testing and evaluating the surface roughness of machine parts, particularly for the aerospace and automotive industries, where surface roughness, or finish, is critical. The roughness of a surface is expressed in micrometers, or microns, or micro inches. The standard defines several parameters for characterizing surface roughness, including, which we mentioned earlier, RA, which is the average roughness, and this is generally one of the main uh, specifications laid down on any uh, sort of drawing or technical specification, RQ, which is the root mean square roughness, RT, which is the roughness depth, that's the, the from the peak to the valley, which we saw in that drawing earlier, or the RZ, which is the mean roughness. So the one that I've uh, used and specified, particularly on components I've been designing in the past, is the RA, or the average roughness. So you may say, oh, what's rough and what's smooth? Well, again, there's a standard set down for this. And it, the, here's the numbers, and we're gonna have a look at some examples in, in the next slide. But if you take the very rough, that's going to be greater than 2.5 microns. Looking at the medium roughness, you're looking at a 0.32 to 0.63 microns, or very smooth is less than 0.08 microns. 
super smooth glass like finish so this is what that would actually look like uh, in the top you've got different machining processes you've got horizontal milling it's going to be the same surface roughness or smoothness depends on which way you look at it as any other thing so we've got end milling we've got lathes uh, finish or a turned machine finish you've got surface grinding and plane grinding if you look across at the 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 3.2 microns for example you know you're going to see a comparison against all of the different types of processes that finishes it uh, and we've got a, a, a zoomed in look at a turned finish or a lathe roughness finish from 6.3 which is pretty rough down to the 0 0.8 which is which is pretty good for a sort of a lathe finish it's, uh, I just like this image, so I threw it in there, which is surface grinding, which is a very popular process for finishing flat surfaces to a high quality, low grade RA finish. So what's the importance of checking roughness, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, checking the surface roughness of a product in manufacturing is important for several reasons. Functional performance. A product's surface roughness can affect its functional performance in a variety of ways. Products with a smooth surface, for example, may have less friction and wear, which can improve performance and extend lifespan. But caveat to that, depending on the application. Quality control. Surface roughness is an important quality control measure. Surface roughness measurements can be used to ensure that products meet specific requirements and to detect defects or variations in surface finish here we can see a, a fine finish being achieved through turning or a lathe now another important aspect to surface finish is obviously the aesthetics surface roughness can affect the aesthetics appearance of a product products with a smooth surface may be perceived as being of higher quality than those with a rough surface Safety is another aspect. Surface roughness of a product can affect the safety of the products. In the case of products such as hand tools, machinery parts, etc. Corrosion resistance is another important aspect. So we're looking at the surface roughness can also affect the product's corrosion resistance. A smooth surface corrodes less easily than a rough surface. Adhesion. Surface roughness can affect the adhesion of a product. A smooth surface is less likely to be damaged than a rough surface. However, sometimes a rough surface is required to ensure a high adhesion property, again, depending on the application. And you can see here a smooth surface, but it's got a lot of scratches and dents and defects in that surface itself. Now, again, if we run that probe across this, it would actually be able to pick up all of this defective um, scratches and, and dents on the surface. Now let's have a quick look at the summary. A surface roughness tester is a device used to measure the roughness of a surface. It typically uses a small probe that is moved across the surface to be measured and it can provide a quantitative measure of the roughness in terms of parameters such as the average roughness or the RA or the mean roughness, the RZ. Checking the surface roughness of a product in manufacturing is important for several reasons, including ensuring that the product meets performance, aesthetic, safety and corrosion resistance parameters and requirements, and can also be used to detect defects and variations in surface finish throughout manufacturing processes. If you're interested in getting any of your products tested for reliability or any other inspection, we do have a specific lab set up under the Sophie's company. For more information, reach out to us and we can discuss your specific and particular requirements with you. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sophie's and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.